What's going on silencers and welcome back to seven days to die now I got to be quick about this because the horde is upon us. We Are probably not going to die. I don't know. I've never been level 122 on day shut the fuck up I've never been level 122 on day seven. So um Yeah, I may have overestimated my abilities now This is probably going to get loud. So I will turn down the uh I will turn down the um, game just a little bit. But if you do enjoy the content, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all those fun things. And thank you very much to my patrons who gave me the design for this bunker. Yes, sir. So hopefully we can live to die another day. But without any further ado, lock and load. All clear. I have a feeling they're trying to get in the tower. Over. Hmm. Well, this might be bad. was not expecting this. Gonna have to adjust the way this goes because they think it's easier to get through this than they do my front door. And that is not good. Die, you zombie bastards. And this would be exactly why I um, built this thing the way I did. close. I can't believe I actually survived that. I have never jumped off of a zombie's hitbox before. Glad to see my tower didn't work. I definitely should have uh, gotten some explosives. Much better weapons for next horde night. Whoa. 
We're level 125. I can't remember what that means. Oh, shit. Score one for trigger finger control. Uh, just don't let him up here. Whatever I have to do, don't let him up here. I was poorly prepared for this. Well, I am glad to see that a day seven horde at level 125 doesn't have too many explodey boys in it. There are some zombies that explode when you shoot them. And those would be very bad news. Now, I know you guys can hear the screamers going off, but those don't actually do anything on Horde Night. They don't summon any extra or anything, so. Look at all that loot. Shit, she's about to get up. Oh shit, I'm out of ammo. Okay, I may have seriously underestimated exactly what I was gonna need for this Horde Knight. My own hubris. Killed by my own hubris. Well, maybe not. We might yet survive this. Well, you guys keep jumping up and giving me your heads for perfect cranium shots. There's a lot of zombies, and I am sucking at shooting. You know, I should have, I should have taken it to heart when the zombies weren't coming to my front door when they were hearing me. bags are gonna be easy to get that's for damn sure
Oh, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought. And I know you guys can't probably hear it, but I'm freaking out right now. Got some flaming zombies. Go away. I am not on the menu. Whoops. Forgot to do those. Yeah, this is horrifying. Sorry I'm being a little quiet. I am trying not to have a small panic attack because this is literally like my own personal hell. Well, shit. I am out of ammo. Ooh, take a breather and back to the grind.
you know, now that I think about it, the, um, the, uh, screamers might actually be bringing in more zombies. Because, um, this is going on longer than it should, even at, uh, level 130. I may need to rethink my pillbox defense. And I am out of ammo. Before I gotta worry about the shotgun, which just isn't very effective, it's so slow. No more horde. Wonderful. These are the last zombies we have to contend with. Then we need to get loot. No. Drink the juice. Trauma kit. I have plans on how we can safeguard against this in the future. But it's gonna take a lot of work. Two zombies per bullet, I love it.
Almost. Okay. So that worked. Shit. Eh, okay. That's... I don't have a pickaxe. Okay, I'm gonna have to get creative on how I use that frame to get back inside, but... I'm gonna get back inside, and, uh... Actually... I'll just collect this loot really quick. I'll be right back with you. So, we survived. Barely. Acknowledged. Let's put that, that, that. Pretty much all those away, because we need to craft way better shit. Oh, yeah, way better shit. Okay, yes, let's, let's take a look at what we got out of that. We got some experience points cards. We got 25, we got three 2,500 ones. We got uh, five 5,000 ones and one extra 5,000 one. Okay. Under fire. Will you please shut up? In fact, we'll do this down here. Because I need frames and stuff to make sure that doesn't happen again. Frames and iron specifically. Uh, okay. Okay. So let me grab the frames or grab the iron and then grab the Request immediate support. frames. We're going to grab those frames and then one of those, two of those, two of those. And we have the tradesman papers. We need the soldier papers. There we go. Uh, cause we got the soldier stuff, so we'll craft this. Boom, we just got the soldier, um... The hell to go. We got this, the soldier vending machine. Nice. Uh, okay, so let's look over what we got. Uh, an absolute ton of ammo including ammo that we don't use. So we can actually scrap the ammo that we don't use. I want to keep the 45 ACP for right now and the 556. Uh, I'm actually okay not keeping the 5.7, although it is good for the P90, which is one of my favorite guns ever. Um, these are not really terribly useful to us. Let's read these really quick. Got a ton of food. Ton of the good stuff. Let's read these for blade weapons. And fist weapons. We've got to figure out a way to make the zombies not want to go up that way. So I might have to do some testing off camera. And we may just have to seal off that entrance um, on Horde Night. Or we may have to bust out everything inside of it 
because the zombies are attracted to player blocks. We may just have to bust out everything inside of it. Um, my stash supplies. Good luck. Okay. So Taylor, whatever the fuck his name is, he just gave us that. Um, old cash is worth actually quite a bit of money. Uh, we've got these perk point cards, lots of them, which we can. Might as well level up as high as we can, right? And apparently we get experience for reading these too. These are definitely nice. And this is just how the loot goes in uh, War of the Walkers. It's just, it seems overpowered, but you saw how bad we almost got our asses handed to us. For that, so let's start at the bottom. For Tradesmen, we need Mother Load, the Builder's Workstation, uh, we already have a tungsten forge, but we'll definitely grab into that. This allows us to do the tungsten stuff. That allows us the steel stuff. What's this? Uh, player level 350. Okay. Can't do that, but we can do storage and comfort, which allows us to craft vault doors. That's exactly what we want to be able to do. Technician. Uh, we don't get any more in that. Survivalist. The player oven, the blueprint station, traps, uh, medical, splints, farming. The soldier gets extra heavy armor. Uh, we got the soldier's workstation. Then shot. Oh, wait, we can't do any of those. Okay. Um, I th think, hold on, I think we may have done the covert quest. Covert, kill a hazmat and kill a soldier. So, uh, yeah, we're not quite there yet, but we don't have to kill them with a specific weapon. So we're good there. Then we need cloth fragments and leather. So, whoops. Go back. That's not enough. We need two stacks of cloth. So, yeah, we're good there. Then we'll stack up the foods. Oh, we're actually out of space for foods. Damn. Um, we got a ton of eggs. And we really, oh, give me those, drop that. And then medical supplies, drop those and the aloe. Scrap that. Okay, I think we need to craft the iron um, armors, the motorcycle, which we might actually be able to afford now. Recipes, weapons, auto shotgun, sniper rifle. Uh, robotic sledge. Hunting knife. Yeah, sure. I want to wait until we can get the compound crossbow, but I also want to be able to craft all of those. And what's this? M60 tactical AR, AK-47. No, there's the motorcycle. And fabrication station. Power. How can I? Oh, I can. Food and medical, tier three foods, tier three beverages. Jeez, we have uh, like 
everything. I don't know what that is, a health deploy. Fertilized seeds, fishing water blocks, water pipe blocks. I don't know exactly what that's for. Get the dynamites, get the other pipe bomb, get some rockets and fire traps. The crucible and steel and rebar. And then fabricator recipes and door recipes. Steel armor is player level 200. Ammo, 45s, 5.7s, 556. And we'll just grab the shotguns as well. Get those, that, that. Um, get that up. That. Let's get these up too. And then my pickaxe would probably be my choice. And heavy armor crafting. Just like that. We are good to go. Let's see what the chickens have to give us. Hey, not bad. We got that. Then we can grab another bird seed. And there we go. Yeah, she is definitely going the wrong way. I need to figure out why. Um... Yeah, let's see if we can craft the motorcycle. Motorcycle. Chassis needs forged steel, mechanical parts, duct tape, leather, electric parts, electrical components. Let's see about the crucible. Needs forged iron, mechanical parts, oil, clay, and small stones. So, oil, forged iron, small stones. Okay, so that's going to do its thing. Now, uh, the soldier's workbench. Forged iron, lead car battery, forged steel, electrical parts, and short iron pipe. So let's get all of those. Lead car battery, electrical parts, short iron pipe, forged iron, and forged steel. So we need to make the steel first. All right, so we need we need our hammer back and the materials to upgrade. Okay, we have the materials to upgrade. We just need our hammer. Oh. Okay, and I'm pretty sure all these are empty because I was taking care of them before Fortnite. They're not all empty, but they're about to be. Okay, those are all empty. I'm going to take care of this. I'm going to toy around with a couple of ideas off camera, and I will see you guys on the flip side because that's going to be where we call it today. If you enjoyed the content, you know exactly what to do. Thank you very much to my patrons who made that Horde Night survivable, sort of. Um, I'm going to figure out something, and if you guys enjoy this series and you do want to see another Horde Night, you've got to let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, I've kind of gotten back into this game. I might just play it personally but I won't keep you any longer. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you very much for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.